For the first time in decades, the United States military has seen major changes to its diet. When troops are in combat or training, they eat food called MREs, or meals ready to eat. But some soldiers say they don't taste very good. Mark Alpert has more on the efforts to make the meals more appetizing. These MREs keep troops alive, but they also give life to not-so-kind nicknames like meals rarely edible, meals rejected by everyone, and meals rejected by the enemy. Now the military's top chefs hope to give them a new nickname, delicious. Gun team, let's move. From tactical maneuvering. Let them have it. To taking down targets. Hey, get up, pick it up, pick it up. Watch them bother you. All right, let's move. And emergency right. rescues. Okay. Try to lift, lift. This company from the Army's Old Guard is burning three to 4,000 calories a day during their training at Fort AP Hill. Living the maxim, an army marches on its stomach. Anyone up for a banana nut ranger bar? Yeah, I want it. But it's complaints about nut, the food are a daily it staple. Terrible. It's all around terrible. It's delicious. It sounds good, though. It is good. It's not good. <laughs> yeah. On a scale of 1 to 10, how is it? 3 or 4. You know MREs sometimes get a bad rap. No, I don't know that. <laughs> Whipping up rations is the job of the Defense Department's Jeremy Whitsitt, but he's not just looking for a tasty recipe. It's all about increasing warfighter performance. You're not just trying to keep them alive. Not just trying to keep them alive. No, we want to help them fight and we want to help them win. In the Army's test kitchen at Natick Research Center outside Boston, Whitsitt's team combines the military's top culinary and scientific minds with high-tech equipment to create the next generation of MREs stuffed with added nutrients. All right, let's try them. Like this What's chocolate this? protein bar. So that's fortified with vitamin D and calcium, which are two components that help to improve bone health and reduce the amount of stress fractures. Or this new lemon pound cake. Wow, it's fluffy. Right. I mean, it's fluffy like a cake. Which is designed to improve muscle performance. It's full of omega-3 fatty acids, which studies show also may deter the effects of traumatic brain injuries. These cooks can increase the levels of vitamins and nutrients because they are changing the way the food is preserved. They've eliminated the need for sustained high heat, which kills vitamins and flavor. This is the lab. The test kitchen also makes sure the 36 million MREs the military buys a year make it to the troops, surviving airdrops and rough handling. This new plastic developed by Army engineers is not only lighter, which reduces a soldier's load, but it helps the food last longer and taste better. But perhaps the biggest culinary coup is the dish troops have craved for decades, pizza. The problem, how to keep bread, cheese, sauce, and meat together in one package for three years without it spoiling. We have a saying around here that chemistry happens. You can't just stop the chemical reactions that are taking place. But so through, through science, technical, they uh, think they've perfected the pie. We're able to control the water and stop it from going from the sauce into the bread by binding the molecules. Back at Army training, what would be the number one food you'd like to see in an MRE? Probably have to say get some pizza in there. Pizza? Yeah. We brought this down from the Army test kitchen. Let's give this a whirl. <clears throat> Private First Class Bryce Keller got his wish. That's actually really good. It is. Is it what you had hoped for? It actually tastes like a pizza, like a cold pizza that you had from the night before. What would you say to the scientists who have worked for about 20 years in the test kitchen to come up with pizza? I would say thank you because this is delicious. This is amazing. I like this a lot. The pizza delivery is scheduled for 2017, and the military is also working on customizing these MREs, tailoring them to the climate. So, for example, troops in the Arctic would eat something different than troops in the desert. Meg, Elaine? All right, Mark, and so we have some of these <laughs> sitting here on the desk. He tried the lemon poppy seed cake, which actually smells really good. It does. Um, Ryan, our floor manager, come on over. Do you want to take a little? To try this. Come on, Ryan. It's hard to chew and talk at the same That's time. That's right. That's our excuse. Yeah. And what, what do you, you think? Do you like it? It's not bad. Yeah. And it smells good, too. It yeah. smells like a muffin that you would the, find. The pizza I don't want to try. No. He, the private liked it, though. He, he said really it was really it. good. He said it was like a cold slice you. of pizza. My pizza palette's too fine for Oh, a little <laughs> pizza snob then. Okay, yeah. well, this is the chocolate, which I don't know exactly what it's called. Why don't we both try it? Okay, try some. Just break off a little piece. Too. It's actually really good. 
Now this isn't bad mm -hmm. either. Mm -hmm. Chocolate's good. Bravo. All so the desserts are good. Three years. Let's try it in three years and see how it goes. <laughs> we'll be back. Is that how long it's supposed to last? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. All right. Not bad. Not bad. We'll try the pizza at a later time. Off camera.